Hello there. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Adepticon exclusive, or, well, the 2020 convention exclusive Naboo Royal N1 Starfighter expansion pack. This was the online exclusive uh, that took place during the Adepticon timeline, during the COVID uh, COVID-19 epidemic of 2020. Uh, but before I get into that, I do want to thank my sponsor, Luxury Playstyle, for sponsoring this video. Uh, be sure to check out LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Use code CRABOCKVIP. You're going to save 15%. Uh, these are the new uh, tokens that they have right now. These are uh, part of the Elite Maneuver series. They are available in this new shiny, ultra shiny black finish. They are absolutely spectacular. Along with all the other finishes, uh, we've got the chrome, we've got the nickel, and we've got the black finish uh, for the force tokens. These are all double-sided, full metal tokens. They're absolutely gorgeous. Check out luxuryplaystyle.com. Use code CRABOCK VIP. All right. So we are going to take a look at the uh, N1 Starfighter. This is the chromed version. Uh, this was supposed to be an Adepticon exclusive. And instead of it just being an Adepticon exclusive, since Adepticon did not happen, this was put up online. And uh, I think they tried very, very hard to make it as fair as possible by giving people kind of like a lottery system. I didn't uh, initially win one, uh, and so a friend gave me their code, and uh, so I ended up using that one. Then I eventually got a, a, a code, I let it kind of go back uh, into circulation, so like any codes that weren't claimed uh, we're going to be able to uh, just kind of be kind of up for grabs for everybody. And I think it's one of the big deals about codes going unclaimed was that it looks like um, we got all this stuff. And uh, that basically everybody said, well, international shipping was so high. So a lot of people who were not in the United States uh, decided to not get it. All right. Now I am going to try something here that uh, a couple of people have suggested. They said instead of trying to cut it, you can just rip this stuff open and, and, and get it out without having to and cut through the plastic. Ah, this is, I can't believe I'm doing this. I've never, never tried doing this before. Wow, that worked. That worked. I'll be, I'll be doggone it. That is something else. Um, and there we've got the Chrome M1 Starfighter Adepticon exclusive. Let's go ahead and, and pull this thing out. Um, I'm trying to be really careful with it. Now, a lot of people will probably get something like this and keep it in the box, but I wanted to pull it out for you guys so you guys could take a close-up look at it. Now, this is not ultra shiny. This is kind of more of a matte, uh, more of a or a more of a subdued chrome finish. We do have a solid blue astromech in there, uh, a little different than R two D two, but uh, you know, it doesn't have to be R two D two specifically. Of course, on the uh, we'll compare this to the original N one. Let's take the underside here and. Oh, we do have a little paint uh, on the little torpedo dispenser right there, which is pretty cool. We got some uh, some dark uh, wash on some of the grooves underneath, which is a real nice touch. And of course, the blue rings around the front, and then the blue glow at the back of the engines is a really nice. It's a nice kind of gradient effect here. I kind of dig that. That one looks really cool. Um, I'm gonna get the base here and uh, set it up on that. Here we go. We do. Uh, it does come with a, basically everything you need. Now, this is not uh, supposed to be really any different than the uh, than the regular N1 Starfighter outside of really the paint job. Um, there we go. We've got it on our, its base. Uh, just to compare it to the uh, regular N1 Starfighter, you can see uh, this is going to be the version that you saw in the movies. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, we, it is kind of like the same type of chrome, right? More or less. So if you're curious about exactly how the finish looks in real life, grab your regular N1 Starfighter and just come and kind of compare it to that, that type of chrome because that finish is about the same as you can see. Um, yeah, and, uh, oh, and then the underside. Yeah, we've got more chrome on the underside of that. that actually, that's kind of cool that that matches up to the, um, to the, like the larger models as well with the larger chrome underneath. Okay. Uh, so yeah, not uh, not too much differences outside of that. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and look at everything else that we're going to get in this pack. Just for consistency's sake, um, you do have, of course, your coveted proof of purchase, the most important thing in any. And this is, ooh, P02. So this one's going to be slightly different, right? Um, we're going to have our 
Naboo, Royal, and one Starfighter. We've got our Tile. We've got Anakin and Rick. Oli with Jine and Bravo Flight Officer, as well as Padme and the Naboo Handmaiden. And we uh, also have a whole bunch of cards, and I think that these are going to be the same. Um, we've got Rick Oli. Let's zoom in a little bit to get a better look at these. There we go. We got Rick Oli. We've got Anakin Skywalker right there. We have a Chrome version of Padme. Now, I'm trying to think. I don't. Rem I don't have the other card in front of me. I think this might be a different alternate art. Is that different? Is that the same art? Um, I'm not sure. We've got Dene. Dene'i. We've got the Naboo Handmaiden. I really hope we get that ship, the one from the opening of Episode Two. But let me know in the comments. Also, there's still time left to enter to win the giveaway too for a $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is. Uh, leave a comment and be a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, you're halfway there. Um, and then, of course, we've got our quick builds. And there's that one, and there's that one. We're gonna have the uh, some upgrade cards, and if you're looking for any more copies of upgrade cards, you're gonna get a copy of Daredevil, you're gonna get a copy of Collision Detectors, you're gonna get a copy of Passive Sensors, you're going to get a copy of Plasma Torpedoes. You're going to get a copy of R2-A6. Also R2-C4. And R2 Astromech. And you're going to get a copy of Decoid. And that one is going to go along with the Handmaidens. Uh, which are right there. They are. The Handmaidens are going to give you that uh, the Decoid condition. And then course then you can assign that and if you were looking for extra excuses to have you know extra n1s if you were able to get one of these then this might be the thing that lets you do it all right so i think that is about everything that we're going to get in here in this particular expansion pack uh let me know if you guys were able to get one in the comment section or if you weren't able to get one i don't know if there's any more available at the asthma day store i'm guessing probably not also uh, you know i do want to talk about the way that they did this lottery it was really uh, I think one of the nicest ways they could do it, but in the future, you know, I, and I get that they had to probably have a certain number of, uh, of ships printed ahead of time to bring to the convention with them, and that is fine. But I would like to say, in, or at least suggest, in the future that they do this more based on a pre-order system. You know, hey, if you want the Gen Con exclusive, you can pre-order it at Gen Con, and when it comes in, then everybody gets it. And that should be, you know, that could apply to everybody in person or online. Um, I, I would like to see more things like that, uh, especially with Legion, where you actually have an alternate sculpt for things. For something like an alternate paint job, while it is really pretty, it's not, you know, like, I guess it's not as big of a deal as, a, as an alternate sculpt because I could, you know, I could just paint one of these. And I've seen a lot of people paint these up. Um, so I think that that's like a, a good way to go forward. Um, I realized something that this being the first box I destroyed, I've got a con exclusive box that I really can't salvage. And all of my old con exclusive box I've kind of saved as keepsakes. And well, I've completely thrashed this one. So uh, maybe maybe I'll just keep this little this little bit. Another thing that's kind of interesting about the back of the box too is uh, we're seeing Game Genic uh, sleeve recommendations on the back side, which is, I mean, I don't know how long that that's been showing up on X-Wing expansions. I'm not 100% sure because I don't usually pay that much attention to the back of boxes. And I also feel like it's been a really long time since we've got anything new. Uh, you know, now that the epidemic is, um, like, like the world is kind of opening back up again, and now we're starting to see things ship, uh, it's going to be a really interesting couple of weeks because we're going to have a lot more uh, new products, and new gaming products shipping and, and showing up. And you've already seen me doing a couple of unboxings and reviews uh, in the past week or two. And there's going to be more of that continuing in the future. So I'm really excited about all of that. But I do want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Was it worth it? Um, were you able to get one? Did you get a code and maybe not uh, order one? Because maybe the shipping was a little too high. And I get that. I really would love for them to come up with a way to kind of reduce the costs of international shipping because, hey, the Asmodee is global. I mean, if, if if everybody in Europe is getting a bunch of stuff before we're getting it here in the United States, then that means they can they should be able to ship from Europe, right? I, I, I don't I don't see why so many things have to be shipped from the United States when they're not made in the United States. So I don't know. But again, I'm not a, log a logistician, I think is the correct term. Uh, but We'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this actually marks my second N1. I actually only have two. 
uh, now, and so I never bought uh, duplicates of these. And a big reason for that is I just have too many games that I play now. I don't usually buy duplicates anymore. Uh, is just it's harder to maintain. So there's you know especially uh, especially for X Wing that I don't get to play as much as my other games. But now with the new solo AI system, uh, maybe there'll be more opportunities for that. Also, if you guys haven't seen the X Wing solo AI system, be sure to check that out. I'll post a video to that at the end here. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Also, want to thank Luxury Playstyle again. Be sure to check out luxuryplaystyle.com and use that code Crabock VIP. You're gonna save fifteen percent on these amazing tokens. They're double sided. They're full metal. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them, and they're so shiny. This one is one of the nickel ones. Oh, gorgeous. All right, that's all I got. Thank you so much, and as always, have a great day.